Seven Star Samurai Raids have officially been announced, and we have to get some builds done real quick, because Game Freak gave us less than four days before the raid starts after the end of Decidueye Raids. So let's take a look at what's going to be the monster build of this raid, and talk about Golden Go. All right, so obviously the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself a Golden Go, which is easier said than done. Uh, because in order to get a Golden Go, you're going to need to get yourself a Gimme Ghoul. And after you have gotten yourself a Gimme Ghoul, you are going to need to collect 999 Gimme Ghoul coins. Uh, so let's talk about how you do that real quick. So obviously you're going to need to get yourself a Gimme Ghoul first. Now, the key to finding Gimme Ghoul is he can be found at very specific points on the map. Uh, usually at any of the watchtowers or in occasion some of the ruins on the map so if you go to any of these you've got a pretty good chance of finding one but once you find yourself a gimme ghoul he is going to be in his chest form and you're just gonna want to walk up click on him like you were trying to open a chest and be ready to catch this guy hey there we go crit capture so catch yourself a gimme ghoul that is step one and unfortunately that is going to be the easy be the easiest step of this build now after you get yourself a gimme ghoul the next part is the hardest that is collecting 999 gimme ghoul coins and in order to do that you can do this a couple different ways number one is just go around the map looking for uh, the roaming form gimme ghouls and collecting the coins from them as you see them uh, you can usually find one at a poke or at each poke center kind of like this guy right here and when you click on him, he's going to give you coins. He gave me 10 right there. Sometimes they give you one, and they can give you a wide variety of them. Uh, it's going to take a lot of time to do this. The other option is to find the other gimme ghouls on the map and uh, just defeat them. They will give you larger numbers of coins every time, but they take forever to respawn. So, whatever your method of collecting coins is, collect 999 gimme ghoul coins. Put your gimme ghoul in your invent or in your party. Use a rare candy on it so it goes up by one level and watch it evolve into Golden Go. All right, and once you have yourself a Golden Go, it is time to start going over our Eevees and Ivies for this. So first thing you're going to want to do is fly to your town of choice that has a chancy supply in it. Because we're going to need to go buy some vitamins. And once you get to your town of choice, mine obviously is Lavincia. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure the Golden Go is in the top slot of your uh, party. And then if he's not level 100 already, you're going to want to use some of your rare candies or XP candies that you have sitting in your bag to get him up to level 100. That's going to be really important. But once you've got that done, it's time to hop on your ride Pokemon, head down to Chansey Supply because we're about ready to spend some money. All right, so once you are inside of Chansey Supply, first thing we're going to do is we are going to start a bulk buy so we can buy everything that we need all at once. We are going to make sure that this one's kind of tricky. Uh... We get the correct things that we need here all right so for starters we're gonna make sure that our golden go has hundred and twenty EVs in his defense so we're gonna grab our iron we're gonna make sure that we're gonna grab 12 of these just like so then we want to have 252 EVs in our special attack so we're gonna grab 25 of our calcium and then we're also gonna put hundred and thirty six in our special defense so for that, we're going to need to grab some zinc. We're going to grab 13 of these, and then we're also going to have to use some feathers. So if you don't have feathers, you can grab yourself 14 of these. With that, you're going to want to make sure that you come all the way down here and that you grab a modest mint if you do not have one sitting in your inventory already because we need to make sure Golden Go has a modest nature. And once you've done that, you're going to drop 530,000 Poke Dollars. And hop out of Chansey Supply, because it's time to go and uh, get ready to put this together. All right, so once you've bought everything from Chansey Supply, it's time to get going here. So we're going to make sure Golden goes at the top of our inventory. We're going to come over to our Other Items tab, and we're going to get going. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to our Iron down here, and we're going to give Golden Go 12 of the Iron that we just bought in Chansey Supply. That's going to give him 120 EVs in his physical defense. Once we've done that, we're going to come down to our Calcium. We're going to give him 25 of these to give him 250 in EVs in his special attack. And we're going to finish things off with 13 Zinc to boost his special defense up by 130. Once you've done that, we're going to come all the way down here to our feathers. And we are going to give him two genius feathers to put his special attack at 252, which is completely maxed out. And once you've done that, you're going to come down to your clever feather and you're going to give him six 
which is going to give him a grand total of 136 EVs in his special defense. And once you've got that done, you're going to come all the way down to the bottom here. You're going to grab your modest mint. You're going to throw it on golden go to give him a modest nature. So special attack up, physical attack down, and you're good to go. EVs are done. Now it's time to go to Mount Inverna and do our IV training. All right, so for our IV training, we're going to fly over to Mount Inverna, as we all often do when we do IV training. And as soon as we get over here, we are going to make our way behind the Poke Stop to our shady friend back here. And we're going to do our IV training for our Golden Go. So we're going to select Golden Go. Now, mine's been IV trained already, so we can't really do anything with this. But you are going to want to make sure that your Golden Go has its IVs trained in pretty much everything. If it were me, I would leave physical attack out. But if you want to, IV train everything on this one. It's really, it's not going to matter. But you want to make sure that everything gets IV trained, especially... HP, special attack, special defense, speed, and its physical defense. Because that's going to give it the extra boost that it needs. Attack is optional at that point. But once you have your IVs done, we're ready to talk about moveset and what Golden Go is going to need to know. Need to know. Before we talk about moves, however, I do want to make sure that I mention that Golden Go should have the Shell Bell as its held item. And if you don't have one, you can get it at the Delibird Gifts in Lavincia. Alright, so for Golden Go's moveset, we have four very specific moves that he needs to know. Luckily, he learns three of them naturally and only one via TM. So we're going to need to make sure that for Golden Go, we have Metal Sound, uh, which he learns naturally. Nasty Plot, which is learned naturally. Power Gem, which is learned via TM. And then Recover, which is learned naturally as well. And once you have that done, your Golden Go is pretty much set and ready to go. You're going to want to make sure he looks just like this. It should be level 100. Held item is the Shell Bell. And one thing we didn't talk about is the terra type needs to be rock so you won't make, have to grind out some rock type terror raids to get the shards you need or maybe you got them during blissey raids uh he's going to have evs that look just like this max in special attack with other evs in special defense and physical defense his ability is good as gold modest nature and his move set is metal sound nasty plot power gem and recover with his shell bell as the held item and with that let's talk about the strat and know exactly how you're going to use this to take down samurai now the strat for golden go is pretty simple what you're going to do is when you hop into a samurai raid first thing you're going to do is you're going to spam metal sound ideally three times probably two if he has the same gimmick as decidui does after that you're going to make sure that you use nasty plot twice to boost your special attack and then you're going to use power gem to absolutely destroy Samurott, and you have recover as an option in case your health starts to get too low now the big thing to make sure of here is that when you terastalize to that rock type you will be weak to Samurott. so terastalizing is really a last resort if you want to get that in in that big finishing move to take him down but once you have all of that done said ready to go this is going to be one monster of a build that can absolutely destroy Samurott and make this raid super easy to farm and absolutely just as easy as the last one was so get out there have fun and you got this let me know how it works down in the comments below guys